Hey guys, Puggos Pizzeria here, back with another video. And the first thing you might notice is, uh, this. I, it's kind of like a face cam. I decided that, uh, well, with my new profile photo, Wolfie made me some amazing, like, Puggo emojis, and then I asked him to make more of them, and then I thought it would be cool if I did something like what Go Motion does, you know, the, the one guy who got really popular off the one video talking about FNAF hoaxes and stuff that one person, I decided to do something like them, just because, uh, it makes it even more entertaining to watch. So, yeah. So, uh, the, the main thing in the video is FNAF getting a Netflix series. And the main answer is, no, you got clickbaited. So, uh, who's really the clown here? <laughs> but, uh, I, w I am basically talking about if FNAF's got a Netflix series, and how good it would be, what it would be about, and how people would like it. Uh, basically, I think a FNAF Netflix series would be absolutely amazing, since we already have a FNAF Cuphead series that is coming very soon. So, the FNAF Netflix series, in my opinion, I think it would be perfect for it to be about the FNAF Fazbear Fright stories. Because those stories are already amazing, and each story could be its own episode of the FNAF Netflix show. I would honestly love to see all these stories made into a FNAF Netflix show, especially like Into the Pit, uh, The Plush Trap Chaser, probably Fetch. But, uh, I think that would be absolutely amazing, but I'm not sure how people would really like it. Because I know you can read the books with very little knowledge of Five Nights at Freddy's, and like, you can still understand them nicely, but I don't really think, like, audiences and stuff would really just like to watch that. They need to get a whole basic grasp of it, so I think these would be really good coming out after the movie. After the movie, a lot more people would actually know what Five Nights at Freddy's is, and they would understand the basic plot, just because uh, it seems a little random just to immediately go in to a time-traveling ball pit just on the first episode. That seems like it would be a little much for someone who knows zero about Five Nights at Freddy's. Like, for the Cuphead thing, they are, um, you know, they're taking basically cut like Cuphead's main story and putting it into that because it's the beginning story of Cuphead. You don't need to know anything else. But for Five Nights at Freddy's, uh, there would definitely need to be some stuff that tells you what happens before what Five Nights at Freddy's is for it to all make sense to the people. But otherwise, I think this would be really amazing. I would imagine the show being sort of like a science fiction show, kind of. So it's like, no, live action and CG. Uh, and, like, CGI. It's, like, live-action actors, but, like, CGI animatronics and stuff. Just because that would be extremely hard to make new working animatronics and things for every single episode. I think they would just have to use CGI to make it look better. And we know that live-action animatronics won't look that good. Uh, just to take an example is the Banana Splits movie. But, yeah, that is my opinion on this topic of if Five Nights at Freddy's got its own Netflix show. Uh, I really hope you guys enjoy. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and hit that bell notification, but please subscribe. 81% of you aren't subscribed, but I don't blame you if you don't want to subscribe because I just clicked me to do. But yeah, that's it. That's it for the video, and I will see you all later. Good.